New York City. This world-class destination is a great niche for print-on-demand or art projects. Vintage illustrations, maps, and photographs adorn merchandise and high-end poster prints. Now in this video, I cover three collections that you can use for your art project. Two of them are in the public domain, which means they have no rights restrictions. One is kind of complicated, but well worth it. Okay, where we're going to be looking today is the New York Public Library Digital Collection. I'm going to put the link in the video description, but if you just click on NYPL Digital Collections, it's the first one that comes up. And what you want to do is when you go over here to the search keywords on the right hand side, when you click it, you have an option underneath that says search only public domain materials. And that's what you want to do. Now you could just type in New York and then you could hit the search, but I'm actually not going to do that. I'm actually just going to click the search button with nothing selected other than the check mark. What that will do is that will bring me back everything that is public domain rights. From there, I can just go into the collection on the left-hand side, and I can see there's a bunch of different things. I can click on the More field, and I can start looking at different collections, and there's 50-plus pages. All right, the first collection is called Historical Postcards of New York City, and there's 485 of these in the collection, and I absolutely love these. I'm just going to pop a couple open here. And again, I'll put the link down in the video description below, but these are like vintage postcards and they have a lot of things like bridges, historical buildings, that sort of thing. So this is a bird's eye view of lower New York. You can zoom on it. So there's this little zoom button here. So when I click on the zoom button, it's going to pop in. You can see that's what it looks like. You can also just right click and open the image in a new tab. And then you can just save the image as well if you wanted. There's also download options here. There's 300 pixels and there's 760 uh, pixels. Or you can say high res TIF. That's a big file, but you could use that as well. Free to use without restriction. Okay, so as I scroll on down and I look at the actual, the meta tags and stuff in here, as we scroll on down, it says the New York Public Library believes that this item is in the public domain. Okay, so basically it's washing its hands of it and it's saying we're throwing this up as a public domain item, feel free to use it if you like. I think it's a really nice looking picture. Here's another one of the Queensboro Bridge, New York. Again, it's like a vintage photograph. So you can zoom, you can save. It's a relatively high quality picture. I mean, it's, you know, it's a just a postcard. So it's not like it's a massive print or anything, but uh, it's got lots of information down under, underneath that you can take a look. Here's the Brooklyn Bridge. And again, these are like actual scans of postcards. So there's like pieces sometimes that are missing from them, but you could always clean this up. You could always, you know, copy a piece over and scan it. And you could just, you know, remove some of the background if you wanted. There's lots of different ways. You could, if it was me and I was doing like say a high-end print of this, I would remove this Brooklyn Bridge and why, and I would write it in larger letters. I'd maybe copy the background and, you know, splice it in behind it to make it a bit bigger. There's lots of things you can do in regards to a small picture to make it a relatively large picture. Again, when I scroll down, I can see that it says, the New York Public Library believes this is in the public domain. So there's a whole bunch of items here, almost 500 items, and they're beautiful color postcards. And there's some that are black and white as well. I'll just pop this one open here. This is the Flatiron Building. And we can see here as well when we zoom in, Flatiron Building in New York City, it's pretty cool. Lots of nice old photographs. It's got frames, very, very cool. The next resource that I like, same website, it's the Atlases of New York City and there's over 10,000 results. So I'm just gonna pop a couple open. These are actual plates and they're like basically realtor reports or like real estate listings, uh, kind of like, you know, property reports. And so these are really neat because they're actually quite high quality. Uh, you know, you can see here, if we zoom in, it doesn't look like it's that big, but I'm gonna actually show you, I'm gonna save this picture. Uh, I'm gonna download it and we'll uh, take a look here at the 2560. 
So here's the high res copy and it says it's 2560 pixels. So when I zoom in, we can see it actually takes just a moment to reset. But we can see eventually we kind of reach the limit of what we can see. It's a little bit fuzzy. So that's the one that's 2560. I also downloaded the act where it says original file. I actually downloaded that. And this is the original file. We can see here when I zoom in, it'll stay blurry for a minute, but then it actually gets very, very clean. That's a really nice high quality scan. Like I'm zoomed in now on individual lots. And we can see here, the quality of it is very, very high. This is the street here. As I continue to scroll out, we can see all the different lots. So this would make a really nice high quality poster somewhere, you know, sections 19 and 21. This is the, you know, a section inside of New York City. And again, you can really see there's some high quality detail here inside the scan. Very cool. So what I did when I selected that is I went into this original, I downloaded the original. And again, you can see here it says free to use without restriction. As I scroll on down, we'll see as well, it believes it's in the public domain. Lots and lots of different maps. They're not really maps. I mean, they're maps, but they're of individual little, you know, neighborhoods. Okay, the third collection is a little bit controversial. It's pictures and they're taken by an artist. His name's Lewis Hine and they're the Empire State Building under construction. Now there's only 47 pictures, but they're pretty spectacular. I'm just gonna open up a couple of them here. And you may have seen these. They're very popular in like, you know, Italian restaurants, New York City, like themed pubs, that kind of thing. It's the old, you know, construction workers view of the buildings. There's this guy here up on the crane. So I'm just gonna pick this one here. Now the deal with these pictures, they're they're nice again. I mean you can zoom in, you can see they're they're pretty, you know, complete. But as I scroll down, you're gonna notice here it says the copyright and related right status of this item has been reviewed and we are unable to make a conclusive determination as to the copyright status. So what this means is they're not saying it's public domain. However, they are saying we can't prove that it is, we can't prove that it is not. So you are free to use this item in any way that is permitted by the copyright and related rights legislation that applies to your use. So kind of to each their own, there's going to be some people that read this and go, I'm not going to risk it. It's not worth it to me. I, I believe this is trademarked or I believe this is copyright. That's fine. There's other people that are going to go, I'm going to use it. The, the, the New York Public Library is saying they can't prove that it's in the public domain, but it's an old photograph. I'm gonna run with it. So again, to each their own, I'm not saying it is, I'm not saying it isn't. I'm just saying these are pretty spectacular pictures. I'm just gonna open that one up there. You can see it's a lot of construction worker photos. Very neat. There's a girder, a guy working on a girder there. I'm just gonna zoom in a little bit on that. So you can imagine how nice that would look in a restaurant, museum, quality photo. It's black and white. These are very popular for like bathrooms, farmhouse decor, that kind of thing. And then this is a really nice one as well. Now again, I wanna point out when you scroll on down, it does not say it's in the public domain. So I wanna be very clear about that. I know there's some people that sometimes are really finicky about the rights and good on you if you are, right? And I, do, I, I mean that sincerely, like you wanna make sure that you're not stealing work from somebody else. So you gotta read through the right statement. Basically what this is saying is the New York Public Library doesn't know. And so you can use your own judgment. And if you feel it's not, worth it great if you feel like it is worth it and you're going to print this off go for it it's whatever you're comfortable doing so i hope you found that helpful three different resources inside of the new york public library digital collections and i do want to point out i'm going to put the links in the video description down below so that you can see them you can click on them you can enjoy them they're really fun you know looking through old vintage photos is a really you know great way to suck up some hours out of your day that's for sure i hope you guys found that helpful thank you so much for watching